St. James Infirmary is a great old tune. We don't really know how old it is. Some people think that it dates way back a few hundred years to England, where St. James Infirmary was a recovery place for people with leprosy. But we don't really know that, and other people think it came from the southern United States. But the chords are A minor, okay, E, A minor, A minor, F, E, A minor, E, A minor, to F, E, A minor, E for a turnaround, okay? And through the words, it sounds like this. Uh, I'll just speak the words. I went down to St. James Infirmary. I saw my baby there. She was laid out on a table. So cold, so white, so fair. Play along with St. James Infirmary. We do have backup tracks, and you'll hear that, but one thing that mandolin players can do is often hit the backbeat. And so listening to the band tells you what chords you're playing. Now, a lot of people think that the lead singer or the lead instrumentalist is the lead of the band, but really for us, it's the bass. The bass always tells you where you're going. So if you're playing the backbeat and the bass is playing the one, playing on the one and three, then you have a whole beat to hear the chord. So that's pretty beautiful. And uh, what we'll do, sometimes we'll play uh, two strums. Okay. And sometimes we'll just hit the backbeat. I'll sing a couple verses so you know how the song goes. The verses and the choruses are the same melody. So I'll sing a couple and then I'll drop out and we'll all keep playing. All right, so work on those chords. Make sure you have them all under your fingers, and then we'll play them together. <laughs> 